If we go into the poor of heaven right now, you ask, Lord, you, your word says, give and it will be given to you. Press down, shake it together. And we have followed the repentance of judgments. So something's about to break open here. Sure. Yeah. Lord, I thank you. <laughs> oh, for your goodness. As we enter this new year, we're about to see some turnarounds. Lord, we, we plead the case under the court of heaven for spiritual turnarounds. Healing, finances, emotions, relationships, restoration. So Lord, I pray right now. Genetic, uh, there's some uh, genetic things that need to be healed. And just like I was healed of Huntington's. Way miracle in itself. Beyond what most people understand. <laughs> but it was DNA. And it was genetic. So Lord, we release this. There's sicknesses and uh, there's something of being healed, right? Uh, I'm trying to get my hand. Genetic disorders. the presence. There's angels in the room. Did you feel weird? He's healing people right now the fear of breast cancer. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? We grab that. And it was fear is an open door. It wasn't the, it wasn't the genetic Oh, it's in my family. I find that gene in Jesus. I find and break the gene report. The Ancestry.com reports that say that you will get sick or you will get sick. In Jesus' name. The Lord is raising up Joseph's in this place right now. You were suffering like the suffering servant, Jesus Christ. You were suffering like Joseph in the pit. But the days of being in the PIT is over and God is bringing you to the throne room. But listen, listen, many of you, it's like you've been backstabbed, you've been betrayed, you've been slandered, just like Joseph was. But now God is bringing you from the pit. Most people say Joseph was in a process of 14 years. 14 years, that's double seven. Double perfection. God is about to double perfect you in this season. Double perfection, double completion. But see, the Lord is raising up Joseph's with the Joseph's anointing to build storehouses for the wealth of the harvest. Storehouses, strategies, businesses, come on. So if you are a Joseph, lift up your hands right now. Come on. You will be a king. You will be a prince. You see the synergy in the spirit right now? Come on, brother. I got it up three quick things. The first was just a confirmation. What he was saying, I mean, everything. We said a lot of the same thing, just in a different way, you know? And so that's that's like double, double confirmation. But I want to reemphasize um, what beat others won't beat you. What beat others won't beat you. Wow. You understand? Okay, so ditch the lie. Ditch the lie. The second thing is 
we talk a lot about generational curses, but the Lord is restoring generational blessings. Because the, bless, the bloodline blessings has not become null and void just because there's been a separation. Just because there's been a disruption. Just because the enemy has come in to try and steal what, what God has designed for your family to have. And so we just reactivate that and release that in the name of Jesus Christ. And we call all that forward. We call that all into fruition in the name of Jesus. Because it's not lost. It's not lost. It's not lost. It's, be, it's being discovered and rediscovered in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will live out. You will live out your God design, your God purpose. You know, you talk about finances and all this kind of stuff and, you know, the release of it. And I want I want you to understand how God can get it to you. Yeah. I want you to understand this. Like, like you know, we get into a weird thinking and, and he gets it to you. So I want you to pull out your, your phone and I want you to look at your bank account right now and mark it. Just mark your bank account. The last institute we had, we had this, uh, one gal came up because she got like $500 and it was just amazing to her. This other gal, she had a tax bill and she couldn't pay it and she had $5,000. Was that you? Was it you? Come please share your testimony. I'm telling you. We're going to break through this. Come Hi, how are you? Tell them what happened. Um, you did the prayer and we shook our cell phone and I kept checking my account. And I was mostly focusing on my checking account. And then James Gall said, I checked my Venmo. So then I decided to check my Venmo, nothing. And then I just started to check my savings. And it doubled. What had happened is um, we had a family member embezzle money from my mother. And the God restored it and gave it back to my mother double. No. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. But I have to learn from that. My mother, my mother forgave him and said I had to forgive him. And at that moment when I forgave him, I came to the Sears Prophet Conference and I, I forgave. And God produced a miracle. I believe it. How many of you, you've got an issue where you were stolen from and you need to do a work of forgiveness right now? How many of you, if you would raise your hand? Okay, anybody else? Yeah, like like something was not, something was taken, it should not have been taken, it was wrong. Okay, let's, let's remove this block. Now he talked about logs in the eye and all that, and he said, I, especially when it's unfair, when it's unfair, okay? I want you in the presence of the Lord to just release it. Just release it. Lord Jesus, we forgive. We repent for holding on to unforgiveness. We forgive in the financial realm. All our judgments against being overtaxed, all our judgments against government people for money, what we perceive as money thieving, all forgiveness, 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 forgiveness. Let it go. Let it all go. Okay, this thing's got to get washed. Let it go. Every excuse you have for holding on to, to poverty because you think somebody took it. Let it go. Let them go. Lord, we bless every person who has stolen from us. Lord, we pray for them. We pray, Heavenly Father, for, for reconciliation. We release them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I think if there's anything that needs to happen here tonight is letting that thing go. We just heard a message about financial release and financial angels, but we've, we've got to let go of unforgiveness in that area. Some of you need to let God go. You feel like he's held out on you. Let him go. Let him go. Choose to trust again. 
So listen, God's gonna drop something in your bank accounts, okay, or even debt cancellation, even by the time you leave. Alright, so if you receive it, keep waving it in the air like it's a wave offering because you are right here. Okay, yeah, keep playing people. Listen, listen, this is so prophetic because we have Pedro Adao in the house and he's from Vacaville, Northern California. He's also a marketplace minister, but I mean, they're seeing incredible things, but he has a ministry organization business called 100 times, 100x, someone say 100x, okay? Yeah, yeah, so I, I'm really excited because because I feel, again, there's North California, Central California, Central Coast, and Southern California gathered in the house in Jesus' name, amen? So come on, come, come here, Pedro, yeah, yeah. So, um... There is a grace for entrepreneurship that wants to break out in the prophetic community. Okay? So what's happening with our movement is, is the fact that it's just time. It's just time that the people of God who, who know how to get into His presence, who know how to hear from Him, realize that that gift is not just for Sunday morning services. It's not just for meetings like this. I love meetings like this. I love me. I almost fell out in the, in the lobby just taking a picture. Like, I love all of this. I'm for all of this. But it's not just for this. Because sometimes we get into what I call ministry idolatry, and we all kind of covet this little spot right here, which is pretty fun. It's okay. It's great. If God's calling you to it, that's awesome. But maybe one in ten of you are called to this. Maybe one. And there's so there's a deep hunger for what you guys carry in the marketplace. And so how many guys in here want to actually prosper as kingdom entrepreneurs, representing King Jesus as legit entrepreneurs who are not, who are great at what they do, great at what they do, have integrity and can host the presence and have redemptive kingdom solutions to the world's biggest problems. Because if you want to find favor, if you want to find favor quickly, it's easy, just go solve problems. So right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just release the entrepreneurial grace over this entire place. We release break, financial breakthrough. God, you did it for me. I was over $3 million in debt, depressed, and suicidal. I was over $3 million in debt, depressed, and suicidal. And within four years of my lowest point, we had our biggest financial year ever. Did over seven figures, and the Lord's never, we've never looked back. All right, never looked back, yeah. So if you're going through hell, keep going. I understand. I've been there too. It's not fun. If, 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 if the warfare seems more than it's supposed to be, I understand. But guess what? You're not just fighting for your breakthrough. You're fighting for someone else's breakthrough. See, I didn't know that. No one told me that. No one told me that. No one told me that. I wish I would have known that. I wish I would have known that. It made it a little bit easier. But if you're going through more hell than you should, then you know. You know. You're not just fighting for you. I didn't know I was fighting. I thought I was fighting for just me, but I wasn't. I was fighting for thousands of kingdom entrepreneurs. And what God's doing through us in just 18 months is a prophetic picture of what's possible. You have no idea what's waiting on the other side of your yes, on the other side of you just going for it. I love, I love these atmospheres. I just, I honor the prophet, the prophets, the prayer so much because what you're seeing is the ability to create an atmosphere where anything is possible. This is not just a feeling. Yes, it feels like something. It's not just a feeling. And I'm telling you is that you can be carriers of this glory and release these atmospheres everywhere you go. So, Father God, in Jesus' name, I just thank you for this gathering. We just pray a blessing over every single person here. Increase, increase, increase of their ability to hear from you. Radical boldness, God. I, pray, I just pray a release of boldness for them to hear and obey and take swift decisive action in the direction you would have them to go. In Jesus' name, amen.